four Peel police officers are facing charges of theft, obstructing police, and perjury after being accused of stealing from a man they'd arrested in a suspected drug case. But it's not just the accusation that's turning heads, it's what they allegedly stole, and the entire incident was caught on camera. To actually see it, I was I was shocked. I I, I could not I, I, I just to, you hear about it, but to actually see it on tape, I was surprised. This is the video that helped spark a year-long internal investigation into four Peel Regional Police officers. It all started when Lowell Somerville was arrested for charges of drug possession and drug trafficking. Peel police obtained a warrant to search his home and storage locker. They find some drugs in the house and then they go to the storage unit and what is stored in the storage unit is uh, jewelry, money and a statue. So my client had informed me at a very early stage that these items had gone missing. Somerville's lawyer Kim Schofield was able to obtain security footage from the storage facility. In it the four officers are seen arriving and then leave, one carrying a large item under his arm. What's inside? Somerville believes it's his giant replica statue of Tony Montana from the movie Scarface. We kept it secret and only used it at the final stages in the trial to confront the officers after they said they had in fact taken nothing. Schofield dropped the bombshell video in court three years later where the officers repeatedly denied the theft accusations. Justice Jennifer Woolcomb ultimately agreed to stay Somerville's drug charges, saying in her ruling that moving forward with the trial would be offensive. She writes, it's hard to imagine conduct on the part of police that more seriously undermines the integrity of the justice system than officers who steal during the execution of a search warrant and then, with the intent to mislead the court, lie about their own conduct. Our officers are subject to criminal charges as well as subject to Police Services Act charges. So uh, whenever we're made aware of any um, allegations or any conduct issues, the chief uh, does not hesitate to, to, to start an investigation. After the ruling, Peel Police Chief Jennifer Evans ordered an investigation by the Professional Standards Bureau. And a year later, one sergeant and three Peel police constables now face one count each of theft under 5,000, obstructing police, and two counts of perjury. Unfortunately, this kind of activity, I think, confirms what a lot of people's experience is, is that perhaps the police in certain places are not to be trusted. And a lot of people share that view. So now, this will counter that. This will say to the public, if there are police that can't be trusted, we will find them, we will prosecute them, and we will convict them if they are guilty. Now, the officers were suspended with pay at the start of the internal investigation last year. They're set to appear in a Brampton court June 4th.